Yo, it's your girl, The Pivot Strategist, and I'm coming just with some Friday stuff. Like, I, you know, I don't know. But anyway, as I was sitting here and I was, like, actually working on a uh, project that I'm working on, um, now I was really thinking, and I felt really compelled to come and just talk about um, the benefit and the joy in choosing peace, right? Or, um, you know how it is, like, ha have you ever felt that you have enough to unload the clip, but you don't really do it? But you have to think why. And what I mean by that is, like, <laughs> let's just say if you know, you had a situation where you decided to walk away from and you're like, okay, I'm washing my hands from it. I've done my healing. You know, I'm just in a spot of peace, right? And something comes along and you have that opportunity to be like, well, you know what? I, I know some stuff that I really could just be like, boom, boom, bam. Like, I'm going to unload the clip on you because y'all don't really know what I know, but you choose not to do it. Sometimes some people would say, you know what? I don't even know why I chose not to do it, right? Um, I've been in that situation before where, um, and I think that I wasn't always like this. And so there have been times where for me, I'm a very, um, you know, uh, justified, like honest in individual, right? And so when someone does something and I'm like, no, this is wrong. Like I have the proof to prove that this is wrong. It's like I get into lawyer mode, right? Because I'm like, oh, like I can prove that this is wrong. And so um, sometimes what if that's not enough? Like even, even if you were to do all this, what if that's not enough, right? Sometimes you can find yourself at crossroads where you've done everything to prove yourself. But that, again, isn't enough because people are going to believe what they want to believe, right? Or or the situation is going to be what it's going to be. Like, we got to start looking at, again, when I go back to uh, one of my previous videos is understanding who we are, but also looking at the change that we need to make in ourselves, right? And so, um, anyway, having enough to unload the clip, but choosing peace instead. That is something that is not, we're not born with, right? Like we're naturally like born to kind of act off of impulse, right? Um, someone, I don't know, like you, you touch a hot plate, you snatch your hand back because that's impulse, right? Like you're like, Ooh, that's hot. Like, you know, so I think that sometimes when you get into situations where if you have not done that healing, if you have not done that self work or that extra work uh, that you need to do, then it's an impulse to act off of and saying, no, like this is not right. Like this is, you know, and I, I still like, you know, struggle with that even now more so on a, um, like social issues side, like when I see something that's wrong, I'm like, no, like this is wrong. Like, no, but you know, choosing peace instead, here is why you choose peace. Number one, the situation is the situation, regardless of whether it's meant to change you or regardless of whether it's meant for you to walk away, for you to do self, self healing, self work, the situation is going to be the situation, right? Um, so sometimes we try to change things that we have no control over. Like, stop trying to change stuff that you don't have any control over. You do not have any control over people's destiny. Uh, you don't you don't have control over people and, and what they choose to do, what their opinions. You don't have any control over that. We can try to sway people with their, you know, opinions and try to sway them on one side or, or the other. But other than that, we don't we, we just don't have any control over that, right? And so um this is why it's really important to make sure that you are choosing peace, right? And um within that choosing peace, you have to look at look at it this way. Okay, if I'm choosing peace, then what does that mean on the other side of that? It doesn't mean that you're forgetting about the issue. It just means that you're you're called to something higher, right? So you understand the assignment on the other side of it. Sometimes you have to choose peace. It's not that this situation is not going to roll around again. It's just that you will have a different attitude when it comes around again. So sometimes we have to look at it that way as well. Um, but I just know, you know, for me, 
choosing peace, you will always end up <laughs> on what they call the right side of history, right? <laughs> You're always going to end up on, on that right side. Is it easy to always choose peace? No. Um, because when we're attacked, we're, 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 gen we're genuinely attacked by the things that the enemy knows that are very close and near and dear to our hearts. So that is going to be your attack. Like, think about it this way. I don't like to eat meat, right? So if the enemy were to put a hamburger in front of me, I'm like, bro, that's not going to... I don't care because I don't eat it, right? But let me tell you something. I really love cookies. So if the enemy sits a cookie right there in front of me, I might look at that cookie for a minute and I'm thinking in my head how delicious that cookie is and I'm going to consider taking the bait, right? So the enemy's not going to test you with anything that you don't really care about. Like, I don't care about meat. Like, you could put it right there and it can sit there for three years and I wouldn't even care, you know? And so um, we have to be smart and strategic with what season that, season that we're in. Um, and, and that's all about strategizing, right? So choosing peace, that's a strategy. Not all the time. Like, so the thing is, things are meant to piss you off. Things are meant to make you mad. Things are meant to kind of sway you away and, and, and take you off of your destiny. Those are meant to be there. This is why we got to strategize. We got to use this. And so remember, out of anything else, out of this whole message, choose peace. All right. It's your girl, the pivot strategist, and I'm out of <laughs>